Hope you guys are doing good. Oh my gosh. I feel like we've not been here in forever. Hump day. Hump day. It honestly <laughs> feels like still it's the first week for us because normally we mm -hmm. go live on Tuesday. So it doesn't feel like we're I know. halfway through the week. Yeah, we literally are. It's crazy. So hope you guys are doing good. Hope the weather's good. It's a little, is the sun coming out here? I can't tell. I don't know. It's We've been shy. filming all morning. Lauren's been painting shelves. You never know what you're going to do you when you come into work here. You never know what you're doing here. You literally don't. So, <laughs> anyways, um, we're going to be making a really fun craft with y'all today. If you did not see in the thumbnail, this craft is so beautiful. Me and Sadie were just talking about before we started how it, Sadie said it looks like a trophy. Like, it's just so classy looking. It truly is. And y'all, I don't know. I've been watching a lot of, like, trend videos mm -hmm. that are going on right now. I feel like I have like you one do. hair. I got it. Thanks. <laughs> I was like really bothering me. I've been watching a lot of trend videos. This project is on the up and up. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, if you have an Etsy shop, this is one that you're going to want to add. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't have an Etsy shop, this is one that you may make it and you're like, wow, yeah, this is so wowing post a good picture on your Facebook and I promise you, you're going to have people want it. And it's custom, it's yes. beautiful, and it's so easy to recreate. If you all have never worked with Electrofoil, you're going to really get your mind blown today because Electrofoil is such a unique just material to work with. So we're going to be using that. We're going to be using a couple other things maybe you haven't played around with before. And I think you guys are really going to love this one. Oh, it's not a think. I know you will. I'm like, so we made, the one that we're using today is actually my husband's late grandfather. So we're going to put this in our house for oh, sure. Do you need, I should have sent you one of dad so you can <gasps> make another one Do you, today. Can you get one? I sure can. Okay. That would be cool because then we can like make one. But y'all, they're so easy and you can record your own voice if you want to make this for a Valentine's gift. That would be so nice. Yeah. Like, I love you. What would like, be, whatever. Like, I'm not saying this to be, I, please don't that take what I'm fixing to say is like me being morbid because I'm not I'm not but like as a mom it would be or as a as a mom but also as someone who has lost a parent like if I would have had this like if my mom like recorded made. recorded her voice saying like daily affirmations like you're oh. loved you're beautiful all of this stuff so that if like there's going to be a time where she's not going to be around i can go back and re-listen to that that's sweet that is that would be something that anyone is going to cherish forever right right and so not only do you have this beautiful um sound wave where they're talking but i'm also going to show you all how to do a print and cut qr code where you scan it and you can literally listen to their voice like from your phone. So super easy. Um, I'm really excited. Lauren's going to find a voice over for us to use today. Uh, if you can't, for some reason, I have um, the one that I used on the sample. Oh, that's fine. So, um, so do you, you just take the recording and like put it into something and it creates the wave? Okay. So if you can airdrop that to me whenever we get to the thing. Let me I'll make sure this is the right one. Okay. My dad was very good at leaving very short messages or leaving very long messages. <laughs> you know what? I'll figure this out when we when you go when over there. When I go there. over there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, we are running our free trial of our membership. If you all have been on the fence about joining us, Sadie dropped a link in our comments. If you all are like, I love these people. I want to hang out with them all the time. Uh-huh. Um, you can for you can. seven days and then if you decide you want to go monthly you can go monthly or you can go yearly and you're gonna save about 50 percent oh my, it's it really it's the best deal. it's the way to go it really is the best deal you know more bang for your buck so right. if you all want to jump in on that you're gonna get seven days access to our website meaning you can get our 30 days to master your cricket you can get unlimited access to the website. For seven days. Yes. For free. You can watch our master classes, whatever, for seven days. You're gonna yep. get 20 downloads. That includes fonts or images for you to use in your Cricut to keep forever. So if y'all wanna do that, the link is in the chat box. Um, and if you have questions, you can drop them in that chat box too. If you're new around here, we do respond directly to comments. Uh -huh. So y'all can just ask away. Um, good. Should we jump into it though? I think everybody's super excited. Okay, Let's do it. me too. I'm excited too. Okay, look, you guys, I got the Red Stanley. I'm basic. I know, I know. I'm actually an Enneagram 4, so it hurts me a little bit that I wanted this so bad because, you know, Enneagram 4s want to be unique. Yeah. Um, but I just love it. It's so cute. Uh, can we can we also make real. it clear that 
You didn't fight a crowd for it. I didn't. I bought this from a from blacklist. <laughs> we'll just call it the fence. Bought, bought it, it from, from the, the fence. fence. <laughs> so it was, yeah, it was like twenty bucks. Yeah. Anyways, just Any you need, if you need the details on that. Send me a message. I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that. Um, anyways, <laughs> I'm digging my red Stanley, but this is the project. Okay, let's look at this overhead. I know y'all can see it from far away, but I want you, I just need you to get a good look. Okay, look how beautiful. And I think because we did the black frame on the black cardstock with the gold, it just makes it look so timeless and beautiful. So I absolutely love this. This is actually for my husband's grandfather. He called him Pee Pee or Papa Sailor. We almost named our daughter Sailor after him. Um, and then we have this QR code on the back. I thought about putting it on the front, y'all, but it just wasn't, you can't weed it. And it was just like a hot mess. So we're gonna do a print and cut QR code so you can just scan it anytime you wanna listen to it. And then I think that's like the sweetest part because you actually get to hear it. Do you know what I'm saying? So love that. Let me go over the supplies you're going to need to recreate this. As always, everything I'm about to go over is in the description below this video. So if you want to recreate it in the next week or so, snag those supplies up. You could totally have this made by Valentine's Day and give it as a gift. So let's see here. I'm like talking too much and not breathing. I, okay, did, yeah, people are saying they can't see it. Hold it one more time. Oh, they can't see it? The, it's like the angle of it. Hold on. Let, you know what? Hold the phone. Take, yeah, I'm take taking it, it out. out of the frame. Because I think that's what's the biggest issue. Also, I'm airdropping this to that computer real quick. Okay, let me accept it. So you can airdrop your uh, voice memo to your computer directly to your downloads, or you can email it to yourself if you are not using a Mac. Okay, yeah. Oh, you can see that much better. Can y'all see it much better? Yeah, it's because the ceilings are black. It's like reflecting the black. But I think you can see it now. <laughs> <laughs> I really want you guys to see it. The thumbnail has a great, Sadie did a great job of photographing this. I was this. trying to see if there's like something I can put. What? Can tilt it like this? Yes, it is not Can y'all see that really good? Mm -hmm. I want to hold it there for a second so you guys can really, yes, a proposal, Kim, this would be beautiful. So, and in person, like in person, this is so much better. I just wish I could show it to you as if it were in person. I know. Um, so yeah, this is, that's what we're creating. Um, you're not going to need a whole lot of things. You are going to need this specialty material. This is electrofoil. So it's like, um, kind of like the foil. You can get Cricut has some, right? I don't know that it's called electrofoil. It's more like embossing foil, but this is, um, is this Caesar brand electrofoil? Is it Caesar? No, it's Starcraft. Starcraft, okay. So this is a Starcraft brand, um, and you can see it's silver on the backside, but then they have the gold. They have tons of different colors. I just thought the gold looked good with the black. You're gonna need a black piece of cardstock that will fit in whatever frame that you have. It's really gonna depend on the frame. I did get a rectangular frame so I could have a long strip. Mm -hmm. And then I've got, this is the Caesar Easy Weed Adhesive. This is basically an HTV that when heated up turns to glue. So that's pretty cool. You love that. Yeah, you have to have that for your electrofoil. And then I've just got a paper trimmer because I'm going to be cutting my cardstock down. And then I've got a burnishing tool and a pin pin weeding tool. So pretty basic. Um, but the first thing that we're going to do is cut our paper down to size. And I feel like I feel like I used a 24 inch sheet of cardstock for this. Let's see. I think it's like a hair short. Oh shoot, could you go grab me a 24 inch piece? Yes. Now, if you're using a smaller frame, you're not gonna have this issue. And I would just recommend to get a frame that you can cut out a piece um, that is, so get a frame that's smaller than 12 by 12. So you don't have to get a 24 inch piece of cardstock, but we've got 24 inch laying around and why not? You know what I'm saying? So Lauren's gonna grab that. But what we're basically gonna do is just lay this piece of glass on top of that cardstock and then cut out the exact size that we need. And then we're gonna carry that size into design space so we can design. Ooh, perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay this on here, on this corner, cause this will give me the straight edge if I line it up. And then I can just take a true control knife and trim this up. This is gonna give us the exact size we need for our frame. And I'm obviously getting my hands all over this 
but we can clean it up if we need to. Uh oh. Okay. I just realized we had smooth. She is thick. Smooth and textured. Oh, there's smooth? two. I was like, why is it so thick? God. <laughs> I said, she's. <laughs> Also, you, that's textured. I use texture, but I can, let's do smooth. Because I pref, I use the smooth side of the textured, if that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, and I like this black better. Okay. You know we're so weird about black. Like, can y'all tell a difference? Oh, God, yeah. I like this one better, personally. Okay, good. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me take, here, there's an extra piece. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. Okay, I'm going to line this up, and we're going to cut. We don't use our 24-inch cardstock a lot, y'all. Like, just periodically. That's all we have so also, much. Also, I wouldn't say, like, if you don't have 24-inch cardstock, like, don't go out and get 24-inch cardstock what I, for yeah. this. Just use a frame that is smaller. inches. Yeah. Smaller than 12 inches in length. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought it would be more dramatic if I did, like, a rectangular. And this, you could still do a rectangular, just smaller. Yeah. So, this can be whatever size you want it to be. Right. Okay. It's just that like the voice memo is usually like long and skinny. And so in my brain, I'm like, I need a long and skinny right. um, frame. So that's kind of what I did. And if you go to Hobby Lobby and the frames are not on sale when you're there, go back the next week and they're usually on sale. They like, I thought well, frames were always on sale there. <laughs> that one was not on sale. Not where I got it from. Did you get it last week? Uh, was it last week? Or was it week before last Oh, I can't even remember. You can look on their website and it'll tell it you. I it was last week because if it was last week, I'll go this week. I, I'll go actually go today and just go get one to put this in. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, beautiful. I mean, it was $17.99, so it's not bad, but then if you get it on half off or 40% off, you get oh. a little bit more of a deal, you know? Yeah. We're deal gals. Okay, so that's my piece. Now, let's measure this because I don't know the exact measurements. Um... And then this is what we're gonna have in design space for our template. So this is 12 and a half. And yes, you can do this on a canvas. You don't have to do this on cardstock. This is it's the same concept. Yes, 12 and a half by six and three quarters. We'll just round up. Okay, 12 and a half by six and three quarters. All right, let me pull open. Cricut Design Space. We're going to get a blank canvas here. Let's go new, replace. Okay, so I'm just going to pull in a square that is the shape of this. This is going to be our base that we're working with. So we said 12 and a half by six and three quarters. And I'm going to change it. Let's just keep it white for now, just so we can see our design. Now, <clears throat> listen up. If you guys are ready, we're going to jump into the part, how to get to your voice memo, how to get all of that. So you airdropped me your voice memo, I right? Did. I did. Okay, okay, so this is where everybody needs to turn all <coughs> their tabs off. Yeah. Turn your listening ears on. Yeah. Because this is going to be the hardest part of this tutorial. And yes. it's not hard, but you just have to know where to go and what to do. Right, right, right. And I've linked every website I'm mentioning. They're linked in the description for y'all. Okay. So the first place, this is our first stop, Vocaroo, 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 I'm assuming like vocal. Um, this website is really cool because you can press this button and start recording. So like if I wanted to leave Lauren a lovely message and put it on this, I could. Or you would just push that and start recording. I, I'm assuming you'd have to have your microphone function hooked up, and whatever. So um, you don't even have to do it from your phone and then airdrop it. You can do it straight from this website. Yeah. So if you just wanted to say something, you could just say it. There, mm, that makes it so easy. I know. But we're wanting to use one that we already have. So you can just select this upload button, okay? And then it's going to say upload audio file. So Lauren airdropped me her audio file. If you don't have airdrop, you can email it to yourself and then save it to your computer. Yes. A heartbeat is a good idea, Sandy. I actually love that. And then you can see right here, is this the one you sent me or is this trays? Let's play it. Oh, maybe it won't let me. Let's see, it'll let me preview it. Hey, Lauren, this is Dad. Happy birthday for you. Our son, Chris Fox. We just catching John the back. I love you very much. Oh. Uh, 
Well, we shouldn't have played that. I thought it was going to be Papa. It's okay. It's okay. I've just not heard his voice in a long time. Sorry, guys. (laughs) We're emotional today anyway. I know. Okay. (laughs) Back. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Back on track. Okay. All right. So, obviously, you can see the emotional effect that this type of gift would give to somebody. Um... That's so sweet. So you're just going to upload it and then drop it in. You can preview the text from there. And then we're going to download the audio. So what you're going to need to do right down here, there's a QR code and there's a download. We need to get both of these because I want you all to have that QR code so you can scan it and listen to it whenever you want. Um, So first we're going to do download and that's just going to pop up here, okay? So we're just going to open that up. Oh, it's going to go into Apple Music. Oh, okay. (laughs) That's weird. It didn't do that on my computer. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, I'm just going to let it live here for a second. Oh, wait, here. I can open it in Finder. There we go. Okay, so I think it just converts it to an MP3. And then we also want the QR code, and we're going to hit Save QR Code. We're sorry if we made you guys cry. (laughs) Didn't mean to. Oh, man. It's been an emotional day in here. But it has been. It has. I was, I've been crying already today, so. <laughs> okay, so we have the QR code. We have the download. Now, after you've done this whole process, you're going to go to the MP3 audio sound wave, and we're going to hit Let's Go. Okay, now we're going to upload that MP3 that we converted over. We're going to upload that to this area. So... Let me actually cancel that. I'm going to open it up in the folder right here. So it's in my downloads, and I'm just going to click it and drag it. And you can see there's a green plus sign. Just drop it in. And then it says conversion complete. And then when you get to this page, you can don't worry about the waveform size. I am going to change this just to solid black and then hit OK. And then... There it is. So cool. It's so interesting how they're all so different. They look so different. So then you're just going to hit control click or right click. And we're going to save image as. And we'll just save it to dad in downloads. Okay. So I'm just going to save that in my downloads. Okay. And then let's go over to design space. Okay, so we're going back to Design Space. We already have our base set up. Before we go any further, does anybody have questions? Anybody, anybody? Um, no, no questions nope. so far. Okay, okay, cool. So we're gonna, and if you do get lost, you can go back and rewatch, okay? Don't worry, you can go back and rewatch. Yeah, this will be living on the channel for y'all. So we're gonna go to Upload, Upload Image, And then we're going to go to Finder. And, well, we can pull in our QR code, first of all. I'm going to hit Complex, Continue, Apply and Continue. And we're going to be using the Print Then Cut image. Now, y'all, I tried to cut this out of vinyl. (laughs) It was like, I think Lauren was in there and I was like, this is stupid. Because I was trying to weed it and it was like, you can't know which squares to weed out, you know, like the heart, the world's hardest weeding project. So we're just going to do it as a print and cut sticker and put it on the back. So I'm going to add that to the canvas and we'll just sit it right here. And now we need to go upload our voice memo. So I'm going to go to upload image, go to finder and see, I start getting confused. Yeah. Cause we have so many like vote. Hold on. Oh, I saved it in downloads as dad. So let me see if I can just type that in. Oh, really? You're going to do that to me. Let me try to, you know what I'm going to do? Let's go back to the website and put it on our desktop. Like I'm just going to drag it over to my desktop. Okay. So we'll go here. I do that a lot. I know. Sometimes you can't find it sometimes. Yeah. Okay. So right click. We're going to... Oh, I don't know if I can. Let's save image as again. Let's try to put it in a different place. Yeah, you know, you can put it in desktop right there. And then it'll pop up on my desktop? Yes. Okay. So, 
we're gonna call it dad on desktop and it's gonna go to oh look I can just open it in the folder here there it is okay. there she is we found it <laughs> these are old so I don't know what it's doing okay open up Cricut again and then you can see right here, I've got my image. So you just gotta find your image, okay? Make sure to title it something that you're gonna remember so you can search for it. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we're gonna hit complex. And then you can see where it's checkered, that gray and white, that means there's no background behind it, which is what we want. And then we're going to apply and continue. DD, the finder is where, on a Mac at least, it's where like all of your, your applications, live. your files live, yeah. And then on a PC, it's just your like search, like at the bottom left, Yeah. it's got the Microsoft icon normally. That's like the same thing as Finder. Yeah. Okay, for the voice wave, it's gonna be a cut image, okay? So make sure you select cut image. And then we're gonna upload that. I'm gonna select it, add it to Canvas, and there it is. How cool is that? So we're going to shrink this down. Now, what I did was cut off all of this. Like, this is probably the phone hanging up. And, like, we don't need any of this blank space. And that way you can make this bigger. Because you want it to be, like, as big as you can get it, you know? And one other thing that I want to, like, <coughs> even if you cut off that last little blurb, yeah, it's not like the Q, you can still scan the QR code and listen to it all, but if yeah. it looks better, if there's like one little area that you could cut off to make it look better, I feel like just cut it off to make it look better because the QR code's going to have the full right. effect. I mean, this is more just for visual This purposes. is just visual. Yeah. So what I would like to do, I just want to cut it. I'll probably cut it off like there. Do you think that's okay? There and there? Or do you want me to cut it off more? I mean, it doesn't matter. It would be way. that size. If, if we cut it off to here, well, it would be, hold on. If we cut it off there, it'll be about that big. If we cut it off there, it'll be about that I think cut it, cut that last little piece this, off. Okay. Because it's not that big of a deal. Right. Okay, that's what we'll do then. So what I'm going to do to slice this off is I'm going to take this little square we already created and I'm going to change it to the, actually, let's duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate it. I like to have two of everything just in case I need it. And I'm going to change this to guide. Okay. So this is basically allowing us to see what's behind it. And... I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. We can cut that little guy off. Do you think that looks good? Yeah, I think I like that. Okay. So that's right where I want to cut it. I want to cut it there and I want to cut it there. So we've got our square exactly where we want it. We're going to select the square as well as the QR code and then we're going to slice. Okay. This is going to give us these extra layers that we can get rid of. This one. Ooh. This is all we need. This stuff right here can be deleted. And so now you've got this that fits perfectly inside of our square. How cool, right? Now, you can put whatever you want. You could put like what it says underneath it. You can put like, I put in memory of PP on trays. Do you wanna put in memory of dad on it? Or do you wanna put like uh, something that he used to say? I mean, you really can put whatever you want on there or you can put nothing if you don't want to put any words you can do nothing if you like more of the minimalistic i'm going to also center this vertically so you could do it just like right down the center what do you i think? don't know i know you're not big on memorials i know i'm not very big on memorials i kind of like just like um do you want to put your handwriting on there that his handwriting that's a little too much. Is it? Yeah. Just put... What if we put, like, love dad? I, th I just thought love dad. Love comma dad? Yes. Period? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're going to be using Inventor font for this. Let's go to... Also, Maribel asks, does the QR code ever expire? I don't think it mm, does. I don't think... I don't see why not. It's already created. Right. I mean, I don't see why it would. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are on that. I've not, like, made one and then revisited it a long time away. 
Okay, we're gonna use this Inventor font. It's very pretty and classy. It's one of our newer fonts. So we're gonna download that. It'll go into a folder. We're gonna open it up, and then we're gonna open that up, and then we're gonna install. Okay, so let's go back to Design Space. Save whatever you're working on. Make sure to hit save. Maybe. Hello. Okay. Um, we're just going to title it this, save it to my projects. Now we're going to reload Design Space so that our font pops in to Design Space. Okay. So view, reload, and then our font should be in our font book in Design Space. Okay. Easy enough. So I'm going to make a text box, love, dad, and then we can put this here and let's change the font. Your downloaded fonts are going to live in your system fonts. And ooh, I'm going to make that a capital L, you think? Yeah. Do you like, yeah, I think that's cute. Yeah. So. If I like the smaller look because I feel like it gives it that more modern, which is kind of the style is kind of modern anyways mm -hmm. of this whole piece. Um, I am going to change it to black because all of this is black. Um, but yeah, you make it pretty small. Now this font can get real skinny. So what I like to do is space my letters out. I'm going to space these out just a little bit. Let's, uh, oh shoot. Highlight your text first. And then space your letter. Why is it not doing it? Oh, I'm doing line spacing. <laughs> Hello, fuzzy. Okay. Highlight your text. We're going to go to letter spacing. Let's add a two space. Um, we have a lot of tutorials, Danielle, about how we use our own handwriting. Yes. Um, in Design Space. Like, uh, first one I can think of. You did Asher's Valentine's. Asher's Valentine's one, right? last year. We I taught you how to do your own handwriting. Um, there is a. I did. You did one for, but it might have been in. There's a TikTok where I've done one. The clipboard art. The clipboard art. But what is that, that? I think it's inside the membership. But then we did one forever ago where Tanner took my great grandmother's recipe and put it on a oh, yeah. that's a long cutting long. board yes maybe so there's a need, maybe we need a, a an updated one an updated like specifically just titled hand how to yeah. use handwriting in cricut design space yeah we may try to do that because i mean everyone loves to do that right so we'll try to throw that in there somewhere um now i did space these letters out something else that you can do is add an offset and then use the offset instead of the original text so i'm going to add an offset of like 0 0.01 which sounds crazy but it just makes it that much thicker so when you weed it it looks better so i'm going to actually just keep this thicker offset and delete this okay and then we can change that to black so that this and that are all cutting out of the same color. And I'm gonna go back and select everything. We're gonna align it and center horizontally. That's gonna put it right in the middle. Oh shoot, I'm gonna bump this down like a hair. I just feel like it's not in the right spot. Makeathon boxes are being shipped. Yep. There, yes, we are in the process of that. Okay. What do you guys think? That's it. That's all for the design process. Now we're kind of getting to the crafting process. So this is somewhat of a design space tutorial, um, but you can use this in so many different ways. This would make a cool graduation present. I don't know. Lots of cool things. Lots of instances where you could mm -hmm. do this as a gift. And if you don't have electrofoil, use HTV. They have some really good like foiled HTV. Mm -hmm. If you, um, Amazon has some really good really pretty colors yeah. of HTV. Um, so yeah. Yeah, totally. So we can delete our square and I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna attach it because I want that love dad to be right in the middle. So I'm gonna attach everything. So that's gonna live together. This is gonna be a print and then cut. Um, I do wanna do something before we do print and then cut with that because right now, if I print it and cut it, it's gonna cut out all of this and we don't want that. So what I'm going to do is add a square that is a little bit bigger. So this is 1.78. I 
I think this two inch square might actually be perfect. Change it to white, send it to back, select them both, align and center. Beautiful, beautiful. And then you need to select them both and flatten them together. So now it will only cut out the border, okay? So this is just our little sticker. If you're planning on making multiples of these, I would suggest you like make as many of these as you need. So if you need five, print and cut five of them. I actually printed an extra one um, before, but we're gonna print this one today. So let's go to make it. We're gonna go to on mat. And then we've got our print and cut. Now I didn't put any sticker paper in. I'll go get it. Okay, because I was about to say, because I just printed one already. Go to the, um, cut the other one first while okay. I put this in there. Okay. So now we have our little thing and will you grab a 12, 24 inch mat, Lauren? Yep. Okay, so when you're here, now we are printing, cutting on HTV. We need to mirror that image because we're gonna be cutting from the back side because this is like heat transfer vinyl. It has the carrier sheet already built in. So, and this is a little bit longer, so I am gonna need to use a 24 inch mat. But like we said earlier, if you don't have that, just get a frame that's smaller, small enough for you to use like under 11 and a half inches basically. So I'm gonna select continue. And we don't actually cut the electrofoil. Oh, thank you. I think the first one is sticky enough. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, so we don't actually cut the electrofoil. We just cut the adhesive. Isn't that crazy? You guys are gonna be really mind blown whenever we do this. So I need this to go down at least, let's just take it to the 14 mark. And then I'm gonna trim this with a true control knife. And you wanna make sure to put the carrier sheet side down. So right now, uh oh, I didn't cut that very good. Ooh. Okay, right now we're gonna flip this over. Okie dokie. I don't know what I just did there, but I don't think I need that extra, that extra inch anyways. So you can see this carrier sheet shiny. So I'm going to put that shiny side down and then we're just going to line that up. I'm not even going to be using this part. Actually, I'm just going to take it off just to prevent any mishaps if the vinyl comes up or something like that. Does anyone have questions about what we've went over so far in terms of supplies or anything like that? Mm, I'm not seeing any. Okay, cool. I can't wait to see what you all come up with. I know. I think that they're gonna be so cute. I am just really excited. I'll just throw that down there. Okay, I'm gonna burnish this down really good. Remember, make sure you mirror this in design space before you go to cut it. We're almost out of that. I'm gonna have to order some mo. Oh Lord. I didn't think we'd been, I made my volleyball shirts using electrofoil. So maybe that's, <laughs> which that was forever ago. I know. Okay. And then in design space, we're just gonna cut this on everyday iron on and you use a standard fine point blade and then it just does the work for you. Easy enough, right? So okay. Super easy. Yes, and y'all, I don't know how to get it from a video to audio, but Janice was saying if you have a video, you could use your phone to record the screen. Like record, like just do an auto recording on your phone. Yes. Yeah. Um, I wish I could give you more help on that because I haven't made a lot of these, but like I made enough to know how to do the craft. I just am not familiar with like the tech as much of it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Um, but yeah, just making sure I didn't miss anything. I was kind of in the zone. Nope, nobody's asking any questions. Okay, uh, okay, how many people are watching today? 213. Holy moly, that's a lot. Yeah. Well, what have you guys been reading? <laughs> Lauren's been reading, I'm only asking that because I know that she's been reading. I have. Because I've been a hermit at work. Mm doing my stuff and not like talking to anybody. Completely quiet, working and listening to her book, her new <laughs> book. Did you not go to Books A Million to get a signed copy? I did not. <clears throat> Were there because, any? Oh, I don't know. I didn't. I ended up not going because... We'll never know. Well, 
Uh, it's just... You just ran out of time. I just had too much to do here, and I didn't want to take time away from that. We've been busy. We've been busy. We've been busy. Um, did you guys watch our dollar spot video? Uh, I'm obsessed it. with everything from the dollar spot video. I know, and everybody like wants to see more dollar spot blanks. So we'll probably do another one. I don't know. If the second one does better or even does good still, we might keep doing them. Yeah. But it just depends. A lot of times, like, we don't do blank videos just because it's so much. Like, even that day, I was like, we've got to make a project for each one of these blanks that I've showed you all. So, And it's one of those things that I love. We love doing the dollar spot videos. Mm -hmm. And we love doing, like, haul videos. Dollar Tree hauls. But, yeah. like, the, the only bad thing, and especially with dollar spot, is that... It's seasonal. It's seasonal, and not every Walmart has the same thing. Right. Or not every Target has the same thing in their dollar spot. Yeah. That's very true. But. I'm just organizing my stuff. So, okay. So, we've got our electrofoil. That's still, this is still cutting. I hope I didn't cut that too short. I think we're going to be Jennifer's perfect. Jennifer's reading Blood and Ash. That's a good book. Um... <laughs> And Atomic Habits. I've heard of that one. I actually think I might yes. have read some of that. Yes. I'm a partial book reader. I'll read like half of it and then stop. Um, and then <laughs> Lynn asked, what is a dollar spot? So the dollar spot is Target has one. Walmart now has one. And it's called the dollar shop, by the way. I call it dollar spot the entire video. Well, Target's is the dollar <laughs> spot. I know, but I think so I didn't know Walmart's that they were Walmart is a dollar shop. Yes. Pretty much what it is, is it's in the very front of the store. When you first walk in, mm -hmm. they have added a little section that has, and I say dollar, they're not a dollar. but It's they're, like from $2 to $5, basically. Yeah, up to $5-ish. Yeah. But it's just like little seasonal um, knickknacks, mm -hmm. like sometimes toys, like kid things, but like also craft blanks could be. They're very cute. The yeah. ones that are there right now, if y'all haven't watched that video, go watch it, but they have some really cute stuff like water bottles, cutting boards. They have yoga mats sometimes, like yeah. workout stuff right now. Uh -huh. But like the style is so cute. Yes. So we like to snag stuff from there a lot. It's like higher end Dollar Tree. Maribel says Michael's has one, but it's in the back. What? I don't. We don't. We, but we don't have a Michael's in in town. No, we don't. But I like a Michael's. I do love Michael's. We just don't have a Michael's in town. Okay. Did this cut? Yes, it did. It will cut. Also, Renee, I listened to The Perfect Marriage like forever ago, and I. Loved that book. Um, I started that book while my children were in the car. So I don't know if you guys remember what the first page sounds like. I do. And it's not a book to read. Around <laughs> there should be some type of disclaimer uh, to parents. I was like, I'm going to listen to this book with my kid in the car. And I was like, mm, immediately no. Immediately no. Okay. So let's, we're just going to weed out everything around this. This, I'll say this. The adhesive is very thin here, so watch where you're weeding. If it didn't cut all the way through, it will not weed well. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm just trying to get it started. Oh, beautiful, nice and crispy. Okay, let me turn it this way. Where's my trash can? I'm gonna bring my trash can over here. Okay, just so I've got it. Okay, so we're just weeding it. Listen, don't be judging how dirty our mat is. Don't be judging us. My what? mat is clean compared to the other one. <laughs> What's a cover sheet anyways, you know? I know. What is that? Okay. And where it goes up and down, you really got to just be careful about pulling this off so you're not yanking it. Because you know if you weed too hard, it like will tear your vinyl. And then the words are down here at the bottom. Something that I like to do when I'm weeding is to go back and forth like this. And it kind of like pulls it in different directions. I can also like this E, it's kind of stuck. I can just lift up with my weeding tool to get that out. I'm a really aggressive weeder usually. This is pretty calm for me. I feel like when Sadie's producing for me, she's probably like, calm down. I just weed really fast, really fast and hard. Okay. It's 
kind of relaxing though. Oh, okay. I think I I'm love watching people weed. I think other people do too. I don't like it. But I also love weeding. I also don't like that. <laughs> I mean, like, I do, but I don't hate it. I just, I don't want to weed. Well, that didn't look satisfying where it tore off the bottom, though. I know. I do be tearing it sometimes. I also just don't think that weed's like normal stuff either. It feels very different. And you know what? I'm going to trim. It'll be easier for me to weed if I if it's shorter on yeah, that side. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to trim off too much. Also, we did, uh, so one of our friends in here said that they ordered all the stuff that didn't come in their mystery boxes the other day, and they got a mini easy press. Like, first of all, congratulations. Yeah. Like, you're going to be obsessed with this you, mini easy press. Yeah. We use it nonstop. It's the number one Cricut tool, in my opinion. The number one. Number one Cricut product. You just need it. Okay. Weed, weed, weed. Nikita said, weeding drives me nuts. Give me a paper craft all day. <laughs> I guess there's pros and cons to all of it, you know. Okay. We are almost there. You want to make sure you really weed out anything you don't want because the electrofoil is going to stick to anything on there um, whenever we apply heat to it. So you want to really make sure it's weeded. Well. Okay, I've got a piece here. And I know I've got to weed out the middles of these letters. This is where a pin pin tool would come in handy, but here we go. Here we are. I'm just going to use my regular one. Okay, I'm just skimming to make sure. See, I did miss some right here. And right here. Okay. Beautiful. There we go. Do you remember Mike's Super Short Show? Huh? Do you remember when they used to, was it on uh, Keenan and Cal or all that? And it was my super short show. Oh, yes. What was that on? All that? Sadie, do you know all oh, that? Oh, 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 this is all that. that. Oh, that's <laughs> one of my favorite shows growing up. Mine too. Oh my gosh. I would watch it now if it came on. Actually, I probably wouldn't like it as much now. It'd probably be annoying, but. I know. Ugh. I Actually, no, it's not as, it's not, because um, Asher Star, I made it, me and Asher started watching it again from season one. Where are you watching it at? Uh, where did we? Netflix? I can't remember. No. Amazon Prime? No, I can't remember. Oh, gosh. Okay, this is sticky. Just letting you know. But it comes off pretty good. Okay, I'm going to line this up edge to edge as straight as I humanly can. Hold on, there's a piece of vinyl right here that I do not want. Because I'm telling you, if you've got any electrofoil on here, that's not where it's supposed to be. The elect, or I'm sorry, any adhesive where it's not supposed to be, the electrofoil will, will stick. stick. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna marry that. I'm gonna measure from the straight line to the edge of the paper. You're getting real precise. I'm a professional now. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I am profesh. Listen, I was a woodworker, okay? I can be precise if I want to. I just don't be. I just would rather eyeball it, you know? Naturally, I want to eyeball it. So, okay, let's talk about heat setting. So, when you're working with this adhesive, it's very delicate and it doesn't need a lot of heat, like at all. So, I put it on the first heat setting on my mini easy press. I want to say like 285, like live in the 285 region. Um, whenever we go to apply heat to this, you're going to see what happens. 
um, it just it gets darker and you can tell that it's adhered so you do not need a lot I actually had we Did took you it out it in here do you want to go get it no it's okay um what will happen though is if you put too much heat on this where it has all these little spiky things they kind of fuse together so it just looks like a big mushy blob so you don't want to apply too much heat i would recommend you practice on some cardstock first before you do your final project just to make sure that you get your heat right because your heat settings are going to be a little bit different from mine and vice versa so i'm gonna go ahead and apply some heat on here look i'm gonna show you guys look like immediately it goes clear i said black but really it's it's going clear so i'm just applying medium pressure light heat and it's very very important to do light heat with this because if you do um lots of heat what's going to happen is that uh adhesive is going to spread and you're not going to get the details mm -hmm. that you would have gotten um, with the voice memo. Like it's just going to spread together. Yeah. And it doesn't look like what you want it to look like. So that's, that's pretty good. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a warm peel. I'm just going to peel this off very slowly and your paper may bow a little bit, but once you get it in a frame, it'll be fine. Pay attention to your words. Um, if you haven't adhered them down completely, that will show. The only thing about this electrofoil is that it can show imperfections, but most of the time it's pretty good. Just know that I'm gonna actually apply a little bit more heat over here. Because it was kind of trying to bubble a little bit. Okay. So it's gonna look something like that. And then what you're gonna do is take your electrofoil. We're just gonna take a piece that would cover our section. I'm gonna cut off this extra piece so it makes it, okay. I just need a piece that's gonna cover my entire design. And then I'm gonna lay it right over top of it and we're gonna apply heat. This does not take a lot of heat either. Remember that adhesive still has the opportunity to melt underneath your press, okay? And if you've never worked with electrofoil, do not be discouraged if you try it and it doesn't give you the exact results the first time. You kinda have to just get used to the heat settings and all that and then it will work really well for you. And I also kind of like to use this as like an iron, like literally just ironing this out. So I don't know, y'all can't probably see it. Like you can see the love dad down here where it's kind of attached. Um, I don't know if you can layer electrofoil, like different layers of other electrofoil. You can, it, you can have different colors on the same, like if you wanted the voice memo to be one color and the words to be a different color, you could do that. Oh yeah. But you can't like lay gold down and then more adhesive and then a different color. I would say, say yeah, probably not. Um, this is a cold peel, so I'm putting it on our cold counter at completely cold peel, okay? Yes. Don't try to take it off the That is the biggest thing with this that we mm -hmm. learned the hard way. It is not a um, warm, like, it has to be cold. Yeah, it's gonna be cold. Like, it, walk away from it. If you think it's cooled down, mm -mm, walk away from it for about 10 more minutes. Yeah, especially with clothing because it holds more heat. Yes. Um, the paper cools down pretty quick, so. All right, let's see you guys. Ooh, are you ready for the big reveal? How cool is that? Ugh, I'm just obsessed with it. Look at that. Yes, so this can also be used on clothing. Oh, yes. I, I think it's better if you hold it towards you. Which way? Okay. Isn't that so pretty? Okay. And now let's go back into design space. I'm going to send my little sticker to the printer. Which printer? I put one in both just in case. Oh, perfect. Okay. Turn the bleed off. Use the system dialog, print, bring this down, 
Where is she? Where's my dialog box at? Hello? 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 Are you there? Try again. I could probably just print this. I don't need to send it to... I did not select the sure color, first of all. Can I just print it? I would just do system dialogue. I know, I don't try. I, don't, I, don't I trust. never don't use it. Oh, here we go, here we go. Rear tray, best quality, print. Kathy, you can use an eye spectacle. I wouldn't recommend that on paper because it might get wet. But you can do that on like clothing and stuff. Okay, Zakia, the foil is now in my Amazon cart. Do they have electric foil on <coughs> Amazon? If y'all can't find it there for some reason, it's on a 143's website. Yeah. I think I linked 143 for y'all. But, like I said, if you don't want to do electric foil, there is a really good brand of HTV for That it. bronze? Let, I'll go grab it. Yeah, we got this bronze for those Santa keys we made last Christmas. Like, not this past Christmas, but the one before. Well, see, I bought They're the so same. Pretty. I think it's back here, actually. In the shiny In, gold? Yes. I yes. Bought, it's the same brand. But let me grab this brand because, like, this I, we love this brand. I just want to see it. There it is. Oh, Tea yeah. Vinyl Warehouse. This will be perfect for this. Y'all, this vinyl is good. Like, I don't know why Good. people aren't talking. I need to get more of this actual brand of vinyl. Like, not the metallics. Because we've only tried the metallics. And it is stretchy. It weeds like butter. It does weed so good. Tea Vinyl Warehouse. If you guys mm -hmm. want to get some of this, it almost, it looks very similar to this. So, very pretty. Good option for y'all to have. Okay. It just doesn't come in sheets bigger than 8 and a half by 11. Oh, yeah. That's the problem. Yeah that I've seen. Uh, I'm cutting this teeny tiny sticker on this 20, <laughs> 24 inch <laughs> mat. It's okay, it's fine. It's all good. It's, it's all good. good. Um, so we're gonna slide this in here. And then in design space, I'm just gonna put printable sticker paper white with the green liner and then it's gonna read it and we'll cut it and then we'll be good to go. Okay. GTG, G2G, got to go. Um, I totally have to get some electrofoil. Sorry, I'm reading your comments. I have so many ideas right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that you all are feeling inspired to make stuff. I know. I'm really excited to see what you come up and with. And you have to, uh, like, this is a pretty inexpensive gift, but so meaningful. Yes. Like, packs a punch kind of gift. Yeah, for sure. Hits you in the gut. Yeah, I didn't even, wasn't ready. I don't think I've showed Trey. He doesn't know that I have it. Oh, you're going to have to. I want you to uh, record, like, video re it. Si like, secretly record if he's not watching right now. <laughs> he Griff could be Moto. watching right now. Griff Moto, are you there? <laughs> are you there? He can't technically watch it at work, I don't think. They, like, block YouTube. He has to be on his phone. <gasps> like, Trey, who works at work? You know, he's one of those. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so it cut. We're just going to remove it. Now this will just go on the back of the frame. Um, I would not put this on the front of the frame. It's gonna ruin the vibe, you know? But you want it to be there for what its intended purpose is. Mm -hmm. So all you do after that, and there's probably fingerprints all over this frame, because I've been handling it. Just pop it in. And then you just lock this in and there. And you would stick this like back here on the back. And there you go. Beautiful. That's so cute. I would say we should test the QR code out, but I'm worried we'll Here, cry again. Okay. <laughs> Here. I mean, I won't. So I, I won't listen to it, but I'll test it. Lauren's gonna scan it, and then it'll and it does it. It's so. It's just such a cool, fun gift. Hey, yep. Not gonna listen to it. It anymore. works. It works. Everybody. Hey, it works. turn it off. La, 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 la. <laughs> another cry I'm bit. not gonna cry again <laughs> I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry again <laughs> so anyways I hope you all love this I think that this is just the sweetest little gift and honestly it would be great for a spouse um, for Valentine's Day or something yes. um, if my husband would make something like this for me I would melt melt I would simply pass away 
Um, <laughs> anyways, and if you guys loved what you saw today, we do have the link for our free trial membership, meaning you all can get access to other classes where we do um, exclusive crafting content for our members only. We've got thousands of cut files, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, like 16,000 or something now. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. There's thousands of fonts. I mean, there's tons of stuff to look at. You can go look on our website before you decide to jump in. And if you don't like us after seven days, you can, like, cut us off, you know? We don't want you to do that. We yeah. want you to stay with us. Um, but, yeah. So... And there are also, so, so Lindsay asked us what we would process at, and just looking at some of the things that I'm seeing online, it really is going to depend on how much personalization you do. Um, you could sell these for, if you wanted to, because now you have the knowledge of how to put these together and design these, mm -hmm. you could design them and sell like sell them as digital Im like digital images they where just they go it. and print it and yeah. you don't have to do it now if you put in the work and you do the electrofoil and you do all the stuff you buy the frame um personally i'm gonna say 25 to 30 dollars for I this would, size i would easily pay for this size i would pay 30 dollars absolutely that. if i had no clue what i was doing but i needed a gift and i needed one that was like a really good one mm -hmm. i would pay 30 dollars for that no absolutely. questions asked yeah i totally would too so pretty cool, um, and there's lots of inspiration like on Etsy and stuff. Also, I can't remember the girl's YouTube that taught me specifically how to do the uh, voice recording, but I'll link the inspiration video for this so under. shout out to. Shout let's, out to. Let's find the inspiration. I did, she didn't do this. She did hers on a tile with a, like HTV or adhesive vinyl, I think. Um, she didn't do electrofoil, but she did show me how to do the voice recording because I was like, I literally don't know how to do it. Oh, it didn't link. Well, it you didn't can copy and paste her. that. You oh, it didn't copy link and paste her the video. Title. Yeah. So under here, it says inspiration video. If you just, Alicia tried to link it. Um, it didn't link, but if you just copy and paste that title, that's the inspiration video. Let's let's just search them and give them a shout out. Yeah, and she does um, she does it on a tile with adhesive vinyl, which I think it's like a mirrored tile you could buy at Lowe's or something. And those are like really quick one-off gifts right. that you can give somebody. And then she put the QR code on the front, I believe. Um, and she printed hers on like clear sticker paper. And it was a clear mirrored tile. So DIY, DIY by, by Says. C-E-S. DIY by Says. She has lots of cute stuff yep. on her channel. So. That's where we got the inspiration. So shout out to. Shout out. Shout out to them. Yes. So. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry that we cried on you. Sometimes, Didn't mean to. Sometimes it'd be like that. I don't think we've ever cried on a lot. I hope not. First time for everything. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. All right. Well, we will be back, um, I'm trying to think, next Wednesday? We'll be back next Wednesday. Um, but we do have new videos going out all the time, y'all. And if you see us doing this again on another day, specifically a Friday, we like to re-put out our videos without all the banter. So, because some of our people don't like to listen to us talk. Okay, Megan says, do you have thoughts on how you could easily pop the QR code out and then back in? Hope this makes sense. Um, you could put a magnet on the back of your thing and a magnet on the QR code Possibly. on like a piece of cardstock. Yeah. Um, if that's what you mean, like pop it in. I don't, hmm. Like you don't want it to be there all the time? Is that what you mean? Or you could make a separate frame to go beside it if Good. you wanted to, like, have it out and then put it away. I mean, if you wanted it in the front, yeah, it would just really throw off the vibe up here. It does. It does. It depends. If you did black and white, I don't think it would throw it off that much. Like, if you did black with, like, black letters, a black like the, voice memo. The thing was, like, your – we didn't – instead of using black cards, like, you used just white, white. and just print – that's another w easy way to do this is yeah. just do a print and cut. Yeah, just print, just that print sucker it out. Because you could put the QR code like You wouldn't have right to go here. through all the process like we did. Yeah, this just makes it like real bougie, you know. We like to be extra. Oh, like without having to pull it off the wall to get the QR code. So if I was, if it was something that I wanted to hang, which this is one, it's just going to be like it would be sitting on a dresser, a dresser or something. Or something. Yeah. So it's easy to turn it around. If I were doing it for like to hang i would have a separate frame beside it like a little black frame little beside tiny it. one 
Yeah, mm -hmm. probably. Just so, or like right underneath it even. Yeah. Um, but like for this case, you can just like flip it around. So it makes yeah. it easier. I wish it was a little bit more accessible, but you know. Yeah. So anyways. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see you guys um, next week. The live streams are just once a week right now. We're really trying to get some stuff wrapped up for you all so we yep. can get it out to you sooner. Um, so we've been working really hard, but that's not going to work about to be going back to two lives a week. Yeah, so. it's just we're just going down to one live a week right now. We have a lot of stuff going on here in the office working yeah. on it for you guys. So that is why we are down to one. But I promise you we'll be back to two before you know it. Yeah, You're not even going to know we were down to one. You won't. <laughs> so we, oh, there's a question off subject. Can you tell me what Hanes sweatshirt you mentioned on a prior video? Um, I like the, um, just your standard. Like Hanes. Hanes sweatshirt. Yeah, I really like neck. a, a Gildan is mm -hmm. another favorite. The ones yes. that we don't like, although we love the shirts, mm -hmm. is comfort colors. I'm not a fan of their sweatshirts. I much. like them sometimes, but I don't know. They're just They just different. don't have as much stretch to them. Yeah. Yeah, they don't. I love a Hanes. It's my favorite. Yeah. That's my favorite. Just, just a standard Hanes mm -hmm. sweatshirt. Can't beat it. Yeah. All right. We'll see y'all next Wednesday. Bye, guys.